I am so nervous about doing this look because it is such a gorgeous look but I'm going to attempt it today I'm going to do a hay for wavy or hay for wavy I'm sure you'll correct me on the pronunciation of it um, who is an, a Lebanese celebrity I believe so I'm just getting my eyes ready a little bit of primer and I'm sure this this tutorial has been done many times here on YouTube because it is such a gorgeous look and just to um just to sort of be different I'm not going to copy the look exactly I'm going to adapt the look to me mainly because um, this um, if you know the look I'm talking about I'll put a link in the description bar um, it's a very gorgeous eye look um, but it only kind of suits it suits Hathaway because she has absolutely gorgeous eyes I don't have gorgeous eyes um, so she brings the eye makeup is very concentrated round the actual eye and it sort of it brings out the eye and highlights all the features of your eyes and my eyes are really uneven so if I copy this copy this look exactly um, it will make my eyes look really uneven I'm going to adapt this look um, this makeup to myself I'm going to do the brows I've got a sleek um, brow kit this is in a dark one which I use normally because my brows are quite dark anyway but I'm just going to make them look a little bit fuller okay once I've got that roughly on there I've got um, some brow brushes um, one is coloured this is a MAC brow set in I forgot the name show off and then I have a clear bobby brown one I'm going to take this into the inner corner just here and brush down now the top part of the eye is gold and neutral uh, so I'm going to start off now the top part of the eye is gold and neutral I'm going to start off with a base and I'm going to create a sort of goldy base I've got two um, creamy eyeshadow I've got an Estee Lauder double wear and gold dust and I've got this the Maybelline colour tattoo one in eternal gold I'm just going to put this onto the lid just to give me a gold shimmery base so I think um, this is just highlighting value for money but I think the um, the Maybelline one which is like a fraction of the price of the Estee Lauder one is a little bit more intense so it just sort of helps to make it a bit more golder okay I've got that on, next you want to enhance that goldiness by going over it with a goldy um, like a dusty gold eyeshadow which I don't have I'm going to make my own I'm going to use uh, my um, uh, Estee Lauder Spice Peach palette this dirty mushroomy white here and you can tell I love it because it's nearly, nearly run out I'm going to take this colour and I'm going to add a dab only a dab because this colour is quite strong of goldenrod I think it's called goldenrod uh, gold bar sorry it's a yabby eyeshadow it's quite small if I get it like that see it's quite intense but if I just add, just add a dab like that and then take it over you really want to get um, like a almost like an off-white with a touch of a gold shimmer I'm sure there are plenty of eyeshadows that have that sort of shade I don't have that exact colour some sort of mix and matching okay I'm gonna move on to an eyeshadow which I love and I don't use it I don't really use it that much, I feel a bit neglectful um, but it's, it's called Nugget Eyeshadow, it's by Paul and Joe and um, just a really sort of pretty dark um, gold we are going to take this 
and I dab this on both corners of my eyelids and then once I've got most of the excess off I'm going to take that and blend it inwards and what I'm going to do also is um, blend it outwards as much as I can along basically meeting at the tail of my brow okay I'm going to use a dark brown but I'm not going to use a lot of it it's only like a little tint of a definer on her, on her crease I've got um, I've got sure mirror medium brown any brown will do but I'm just going to just literally just touch the bristles there and just bring this in and just get a little bit of definition and then I'm going to take the same brown eyeshadow and just push along the lash line very very softly I'm going to use a black along the lash line in a bit but just to give a little bit of definition for now okay I'm going to use now if you want to copy the look exactly don't do this but I'm adapting this look for my features I you know I don't have the same features as um, features as Hay for Wavy um, sorry if I'm saying her name wrong um, because her she brings her makeup it's just all the way around her eyes and it really sort of brings out her eyes but she has beautiful eyes I don't have beautiful eyes if I, if I copy this look exactly it's going to make my eyes look really uneven and um, make them really stand out so what I'm doing is taking white eyeshadow this is um, from Makeup Academy I'm going to take a little bit of highlight into the eye there now from what I can see Hey for Wavy does not have this highlight here. I'm doing it because it will just make my eyes look a little bit bigger and less uneven. So obviously if you are going to copy this look exactly, um, you can skip this part. Take a little bit of white down there as well. Okay I'm going to move on to a black and I just grabbed the first black eyeshadow I saw. Um, this is a an eyeshadow by Rumi and Millie. I believe it's a boots only company. But and it's you just want a black eyeshadow, any black will do. And I'm going to push this just along the lash line. And another thing I'm going to do differently. Hey for Baby brought this black eyeshadow or black liner right in, right by that tear ducts. I'm going to stop about three quarters of the way in because it just make it'll just make my eye look really uneven if I do that. Then I'm just going to take an old an old brush and just blend that upwards a bit. I may add a liquid liner. Um, whether I think this is hmm, it's probably a wee bit too soft. This black line. I may add a a liquid liner just to give a little bit more oomph from the liner. Actually, I think I am going to add a liquid liner. Well, it's a cream liner. Using my trusty Clinique. It's very trusty, it's almost running out now. Um, so I'm going to take this on the outer corner of my lashes and just extend that line out. Yeah, so I'm sorry that um, I'm not copying this look exactly. The reason why I'm not is because um, I just assume that so many people who have done done this tutorial would like copy the look exactly, and you know I just think it's um, just nice to sort of ad adapt it, like, take the look as an inspiration, and sort of adapt it to your own own features. And also, I think you know, I'm not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination. I just do I just do these looks for fun. Um, and I assume there's going to be quite a few people on here who are actual makeup artists and they'll show you the correct way of doing it so um, you know I just want to have a bit of fun really uh, but if you want to have a look at the like a real inspired um, 
direct copy of this look, then I'm sure there's loads, loads here on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to use these mascara. I'm going to add falsies as well. Just add them to the tops for the time being. Um, I don't know what colour mascara I'm going to use at the bottom. I'll, have to, I'll decide once I've finished. Okay, I'm going to pop on these false lashes. Um, these are the Ilia, um I don't see a name. But, uh, yeah, they're just sort of standard false lashes. So I'm just going to pop those on now. Okay, I think you know what's coming next. Da da da! It's not that dramatic, it's just blue eyeshadow, but it's, I think it's the key, key feature of the look. I'm using Atlantic Blue by MAC. It's like crazy blue. I'm going to go half, sort of the centre part of my eye and stop just for a second. Okay, what Hafer Wavy does is, sorry, I'm, I'm really self-conscious that I'm saying her name wrong. It, I'm sure it is Hafer. <laughs> okay, I'll just, Miss Wavy I'll say. The way um, Miss Wavy does with this blue eye, she brings it right in. I am going to... Extend it out a wee bit. Like that. Instead of coming up, I'm going to extend it out. Okay, I've got a black eye coal. I'm going to pop this into the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to uh, go any further. I know Hafer Wavy brings it all the way in, but she's allowed to because her eyes are gorgeous. I think I'm going to add a blue. I've got Azure Blue. Maybe a, bit, maybe a little bit too light for this. I'll try it, see what happens. I'm going to pop this into the waterline. Might be a little bit too light for my liking, but... Yeah, it's alright, I guess. A little bit of a clubbing liner, clubbing eyeshadow by Bourgeois, and right by the lash line, almost like little dots. I'm going to take this, and I think I'm going to add a blue mascara. I've got the Estee Lauder one in sapphire, I believe. Just adding a little bit of powder, and then I've got a little bit of um, bronzer. I'm going to use Bourjois number fifty-two, I think. I want to stay true to Hypha Wavy's look, just a little bit. Okay, now for the lips, and it's quite an unusual colour on the lips, and I don't think I've got the exact colour that I want, so I'm going to sort of add a few layers of lipsticks and lip liners. Hopefully I'll see the right colour. Yeah, so I'm sorry I haven't copied the look exactly how Haitha Wabi has hers, but I just hope you can appreciate that I just I just don't look like her. And I think if I wear the makeup exactly how she wears it, it, it um it won't flutter me as much. Um I don't I mean I don't even if you know if you've noticed, but even with um opening my eye up here and here, my eyes still look quite uneven. I think this one sort of curls up a wee bit more than that one. Yeah, I just think that neat eye makeup doesn't just doesn't suit me. Um but I hope it's um I hope this has been en enjoyable. And yeah, um thank you very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.